a value of pi. Pi is irrational number. Pi is an irrational number. We may have here about the this is your pi, correct? We are using this is that this number we are using. How to define the pi? Circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r by diameter of the circle. Uh, circumference of the circle. Circumference by diameter will give the ratio pi. So pi always stand on the circle. If you increase the circle, if you have biggest circle, okay, when you increase the circle, then pi value you can get more accurate values. So pi is a uh, number, it is not a rational number. What do you mean by rational number? Rational number can be written in the form of p by q. So if you write 20 by 22 by 7, this is not a pi value. But we are using pi value is 22 by 7. Sometimes we are using pi value is 1.3.14. But it is, it is very clear that pi is not a rational number. So how can you write pi 22 by 7 or 3.14? 3.14 is a terminating decimal. 22 by 7 is a rational number. But pi is irrational number. Pi is irrational number. Rational can be written in the form of p by q. Irrational number we can't write in the form of p by q. So if you want to find the value of pi, first you have to state that 22 by 7 is not accurate value. Approximate, 22 by 7 is approximate value and 3.14 also approximate value. So we can't use this value when you go for big circle. Okay, this is a small circle. For small circle we can use it pi value is 22 by 7 or 3.14. When you go for big, big circle in the galaxy, in the surface of earth, okay, when you go to the big circle, the pi value may differ. So how to find pi value? It is a circumference divided by uh, diameter of the circle. So how to find pi value? Whenever you take a big circle, find the circumference of the circle and divide the circumference by its diameter. So diameter and the circumference. That ratio will be constant. Okay, that ratio will be constant. When you take your circumference of the circle, when you divide it by the diameter, that ratio is constant. Okay, but that constant is not a rational number. It is irrational number because when you take a big circle, that pi value differ. Okay. Then how to remember the pi values? Sir? So whenever you take a big values, you can remember the pi values easily. For that, I can give you a technique. May I have a large container of coffee? That is the technique. May. Count the letters. 1, 2, 3. Put here 3. When you have the letters 3, you put 3 dot i. One letter. How, how many letters? One, two, three, four letters. So put to four. Again, here, yeah, one letter. Large, one, two, three, four, five digits, five letters. Container, count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you put nine. Off, put a two. Coffee, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the uh, values, how many digit uh, accurate approximation? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 digit approximation. For 7 digit approximation, you can use this value. But, but if you go for uh, more approximation, because when you go for the galaxy, even small errors will become very big error in the galaxy. Correct? So when you do the calculation for the Earth, uh, even for Earth or any small planet, for that you can use a uh, 8 digit or 6 digit approximation. But if you go for very big galaxy, okay, there you can use this many digits of approximation. This is the pi value. Okay, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 digits. It is 28 digits approximation. 
but more 100 digit approximation value also there 100 digit approximation value also there uh, it is a, it is a uh, what a challenging for you know see that see the pi value okay the value of pi was first calculated by the indian mathematician bodhayana and explain the concept of what is known as uh, pythagorean theorem a british scholar have last year uh, last year means this uh, fifth window class here okay officially published that bodhayana's work date break up to the 6th century which is long before the european mathematicians okay so one thing is clear here i have the pi value of 100 digit approximation you can count how many digits are there and find it out okay so you should know pi is not a terminating decimal pi is not a rational number pi is not a recurring decimal it is irrational number thank you dear students